until you get to a tab or somewhere where it says sensitive content warning. Can you see that? Mine for the purposes of the broadcast, the episode is turned off. So I'm going to turn it on. And once you turn it on, you, you're now faced with a toggle where you click on it and it tells you there, you, as you can see, detect nude photos and videos before they are viewed on your iPhone and receive guidance to help make a safe choice. Okay. You can see that um, very clearly. Apple does not have access to your pictures and videos. So that's important because all this is down to privacy. You've got to protect your you know, uh, privacy at all times. So Apple state that they don't have, and if they don't have, they, they do mean it because people could hold them to, you know, to their word and that can be a good thing. All right. So you've got to enable sensitive content warning and you do it by just clicking on the toggle. Okay. And it will turn to green. Now, when it turns to green, there's some safety resources that you get to see. You see airdrop contacts, FaceTime, and I'm going to keep going because I'm scrolling up. You have FaceTime and then you have messages. Sorry, I'm just going to keep going on till I show you all of it because it's all there. Messages and the, th the fourth one will be shared albums. I can't go all that way down, but you can see it. Make sure that they are all green, okay? And the safety resources help, as you can see, make a safe choice when receiving videos or um, photos that contain nudity. 